The Brain Prize 2015 is awarded to Winfried Denk, Arthur Connard, Karel Swoboda and David W. Tank for the invention, refinement and use of two-photon microscopy. We met the prize winners at the Technical University in Munich, Germany and at Princeton University in the US to learn a little bit about them and their research. Getting these prizes, of course, is very satisfying. It, 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 it in some sense shows that one made the right decisions mm -hmm. 20 years ago or 30 years ago in what to work on. We did some experiments where we showed that we could actually image the, the, the living brain and then we, we started working together with with David Tank and, 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 and to, to demonstrate that you actually could do image activity inside the brain. And then Carl Svoboda came on board and he sort of really put his energy into this project and, and, and worked and did a couple of papers at, uh, in, at Bell Labs. So that was a very fruitful period, I would say. So that's where, where, where sort of we understood really the potential of this technique. Yeah. Well, actually, we started out with camera imaging, with confocal imaging. And in 1990, when Winfried Denk uh, and his colleagues described two photomicroscopy, we immediately realized that this is now really maybe one uh, event that may uh, initiate a small revolution in the way how we describe uh, what happens in these processes. In order to do the imaging, it's important to stay in the cells. So this is fluorescent imaging, and you need a fluorescent label that allows you to see the cells. And the beauty of the label is that it, not, it does not only allow you to see the cells, but it allows you also to monitor function. There is a very important aspect of it is you have to sort of be ready when the technology is ready. For example, for the two-photon microscope, the absolute essential aspect of it was the, was the, the invention of the, of the short pulse lasers. Right. Because without that, you can't do it. I mean, or you can't really do it in a practical way. And in this case, the, what, what was important is the invention of, mi of electron microscopes so that had fine enough beams at low enough voltages, which basically required you to use a, a field emission tip. The way we want to use it now is for, for two things. At the one hand, we really want to understand basic rules on how uh, synapses are modified. And also understanding the entire mechanism means also that we perhaps will be able to manipulate this process pharmacologically. But generally, I believe that we are on the right track. Yeah, I think that this uh, multidisciplinary uh, approaches where people come from different angles actually have the power of really uh, accelerating the way we acquire information. So I'm quite optimistic. <laughs>You are right now, you are the group leader at the Janelia Research Campus at Howard Hughes Medical Institute. So what do I call you? Uh, you can uh, call me Karel, exactly, that should be <laughs> good enough, yeah. <laughs> you joined the famous Bell Labs in 1994, uh, where you worked with fellow Brain Prize winners David Tank and Winfried Denk. I'm just wondering, was it uh, at all daunting to me, I mean just the mere names, Denk and Tank, it sounds like a... 1980s cop show. Right? From the sound or yeah, by, sound. by reputation? From, uh, and by <laughs> reputation, yeah. Well, the reputations weren't quite uh, the way they are now. Right. I, I think that uh, there's, there's a great deal of respect. Um, for me, they were mentors, right? Winfried basically taught me, um, you know, most of what I know really about two photon microscopy, the relevant kind of uh, engineering aspects. And, and I think Winfrey uh, and, and David was, was the cheerleader and uh, the guy who was really pushing uh, interesting biology application, in vivo application to brain function. And, and both of those things have sort of stayed with me uh, for a long time. And even though we've on occasion even competed, it's always been on very friendly terms. Yeah. And, and there are, they've sort of continued continue to be supportive and, and, and vice versa, I think. Yeah, so we're, I would say we're friends, basically. I'd like to ask you what your initial reaction was when you learned that you were one of the Brain Prize recipients this year. I'm sure it must have been, well, about bloody time. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't really think I felt that. I think what I felt was this uh, really um, sort of uh, ex kind of excitement over the recognition of something that that many of us had contributed to as kind of a group effort. And I understand that you were actually uh, one of the people who uh, made sure that Winfried Denk came to Bell Labs in the first place. 
I had uh, been familiar with Winfred um, through his work as a graduate student in Watt Webb's lab and had actually visited Watt Webb's lab and seen sort of instrumentation that he had designed and implemented and recognized, I think, that he was a, a genius really at what he was doing. And I thought he would be a fantastic uh, addition to uh, our new department. Yes, I consider myself the house physicist of the biologist, of the neuroscientist. I mean, the house doctor being the house doctor being the doctor that's not so particularly good, but it's but but they're always available. We had a computer uh, projector, which through a special mirror projected an image of the virtual world onto this screen surrounding the mouse, and we used the mouse's motion on the spherical treadmill detected by optical sensors on the perimeter of the treadmill to control through a virtual reality software program implemented in a computer the display, the view of the environment. So using that spherical treadmill, the two photon microscope to look into the brain and this virtual reality system, we started examining whether or not we could image neurons in areas important in navigation uh, during, during awake behavior. But, but with two photon, you can also not just look at large groups of neurons, but also at the connections between neurons, the synapses. And I think two photon microscopy will have a large role to play going forward in, uh, in our efforts and the community's effort in trying to understand how memories are really encoded at synapses. What does it mean for your research to be a brain prize winner? I, I'm still trying to sort of sort that out, you yeah. know, and I, I can't say that I've come to any conclusions yet on it. I consider these prizes less of something that will improve my research, but it's something that provides an incentive for others. For me personally, it means also that uh, it allows me, uh, hopefully, to prolong my uh, time in science a little bit. Yeah. It, it gives us recognition. Um, it, um, Take some time away from my research, <laughs> hopefully not too much.